that brings back memories. In this video, we're gonna be revisiting the iPod Touch fourth generation. I got this device almost 13 years ago. So if you've just stumbled across my channel, consider subscribing for two reasons. One, because my dog wants you to, and the other because we're on the road to 300 subscribers. So enjoy the video. So the iPod Touch fourth generation was released back in 2010, and it was one of the most popular generations of iPod Touch. I feel like everyone in school had one. It was released at the same time as the iPhone 4 and shared many of the same specifications, but at a much lower price. This exact iPod Touch here I got on my 11th birthday almost 13 years ago. And back when I first got it, I pretty much did everything on it. I watched YouTube, played games, had music on it, watched films. But this iPod had been laying in the back of a drawer for the last 10 years before I recently discovered it and decided to order a new cable for it. So I'm just going to run through some of the hardware specifications of this iPod and then we're going to go test it out. So this exact iPod is a 32 gigabyte variant, which at the time was actually a fairly high amount of storage. So the latest version of iOS that actually ran on this iPod was iOS 6. So it never actually received the iOS redesign that happened with iOS 7. So it came with a massive three and a half inch display that's sub 720p, which by today's standards is absolutely tiny. But one thing I am quite impressed with about this iPod is the pixel density. Fun fact, the iPhone 11, which I used to have, actually had the same pixel density as this iPod. So there are actually some aspects of this screen that differ from modern screens. The main one being the brightness. This isn't a particularly bright screen. And I've also noticed color shift when you look at it off axis. Let's have a chat about the cameras that came with this iPod. I believe that this was the first iPod touch to have cameras. And it has a 0.7 megapixel rear camera and a 0.3 megapixel front camera. And it's able to shoot 720p video. The camera on this iPod is very simple, it doesn't come with a flash or any autofocus. This iPod Touch had a 930 milliamp hour battery, but the battery is probably completely destroyed because it's been in a cupboard for 10 years. It's crazy, but this iPod Touch actually has a feature that a lot of modern phones don't have, and that's a headphone jack. There's a headphone jack on the bottom of this iPod. So I'm just having a look at the specifications of this iPod and it's actually crazy. Back in the day I felt like this was a very capable device, but it only had a quarter of a gigabyte of RAM. So it came with the Apple A4 chip, which is a single core processor that was clocked at about 700 megahertz, which is crazy because modern phones have like eight cores. And overall, the design of this iPod does feel quite premium. It's obviously got a glass screen with a metal back but the metal back was known for getting very scratched up. And now we're gonna go and have a mess around with the different features of this iPod Touch. It doesn't even have a swipe up control center. So if you double tap the menu, it has your recent apps at the bottom. Obviously there's the settings app here, which has some basic settings. So this iPod has the camera app that we're gonna open. There we go. And it's a very basic camera app. It basically just has a camera and a video uh, option and then if you want to switch to the front facing camera you can do that and as you can see we can see ourselves behind the camera but there's literally no dynamic range there's no focus but you can tap to change the exposure of the image and it has the old app store icon and then a calculator contacts stocks yeah i don't think anything's loaded on this ipod and the reason we're outside is because i want to test out the camera quality so we're going to test out the camera quality now. I've actually taken similar photos of my Google Pixel, so we're going to compare them to my Google Pixel, but I can something's telling me that it's not going to be a fair comparison. Oh, we're just going to start recording, take a little video just to see uh, how good the video quality is. One thing that I can see is that there's no stabilization and the dynamic range is rubbish. Yep, that's a battery warning for 20% that's just popped up. The battery health of this iPod is probably very low. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next video.